Deep within the recesses of Oblivion's game files is an interesting little area. It's called the Testing Hall. Inside there are doors from wall to wall, and behind those doors are rooms filled with armor and equipment and chests with every possible object you could imagine. And usually when I come here, these are the rooms that I'm looking for. But today, I'm not interested in all the storage. I want to take a look at the other rooms, like the basement and the Creature Grove. Rooms that were used to help build out this game and make it what it was. So today, we're going to take a look behind the curtain of Oblivion. Before we can get to this secret area though, we need to open up our console and type in COC testing hall. And bingo bingo, we're in this big empty room with a bunch of fucking doors. The first thing you'll notice when we get here is that most of these doors are completely useless and don't go anywhere, but there are still quite a few that were used for see. proper testing. Some of these rooms are kind of obvious, like the lockpick room, I mean, we know what this room was for. But then you have other areas that are a little bit more mysterious, like the basement, which is rather spooky and if you're not careful will lead to a never-ending fall of despair. There's also this room where you get to watch this guy slowly walk between a bunch of tables. Yeah, man, you can do it. Yeah, you, you got this. You're almost there, man. Woo! Now that was a good match. There's also a super easy way to become a vampire here by going to Wooden Door 2. Once inside, just click on one of the gravestones and voila, you're a blood-sucking son of a bitch. If you change your mind and decide you didn't actually want to be a vampire though, instead go to the other door that says Wooden Door 2 and click on the potions chest and right at the top you'll find a cure for vampirism. That's a good way to avoid that really awful, horrible quest. Ugh, repressed memories. Hush child, this is serious. But perhaps the most interesting places in this area would be the Creature Grove and Hawk Haven. Now the grove is an area where you can find every single creature in Oblivion, all the way from mud crabs to sexy spiders. What's even better though is that the vast majority of them are not hostile, which means it's a great chance to get a good look at some of the creatures that you usually don't get the time to really check out. Yeah, except for these guys over here, these guys are a bunch of pricks. Now as for Hawk Haven, this was designed as a way to map out how the cities were going to look in Oblivion, get an idea of where the buildings should be and where the people should be and what it might look all together. You can even go in a couple what of the buildings, there's this one which suddenly Hello. magically turns into a castle dungeon. and then and then there's one over here, which was designed to test out the trespassing feature. You're not supposed to be in here. Aside from that though, there's really not that much here, except for this creepy altar. But that's okay, because not every single room that was used for testing can actually be found within the testing hall. As a matter of fact, the vast majority of them have nothing to do with this place, such as COC Todd Test. Here we can find an NPC named Albin Hello. Corinus, and this guy's particularly interesting because he is voiced by none other than Todd Howard himself. Fabulous. That's great. Good for you. And they say he can't do everything. The main purpose of this guy seems to be just to test out facial reactions as well as the disposition system. But if this isn't wild enough for you, then how about we go check out COC Test Todd Crazy! Which is essentially the exact same thing, except for there's a couple more NPCs, and for some reason there's a bazillion books hanging in midair. Which, if you happen to bump into, will all crash down in an amazing explosion of literature. To be quite frank with you though, I don't know why this place is called Test Todd Crazy. Because, um, aside from the books, it's not that crazy. Now, all these places so far were only accessible if you were playing on the computer and had access to the console. But there was actually one place you could get to through the Frostcrag Spire DLC. Which meant that even people playing on consoles could get here themselves. But first, we need to head into the living area of the Spire, and then stand near the Alchemy area. Once you're here, make sure to save your game and delete the Frostcrag Spire DLC. Nah, I'm just kidding. All you have to do is turn it off, and that should be good enough. Now that you've done that, reload the save file and you should be inside a house. The house itself is pretty boring, so just exit through the door and you are in a whole Bruma testing area. You got the Cloud Ruler Temple, you got a bunch of random buildings, and in the center beside the fire is a very powerful weapon called the Mace of Doom. By Azure. That's a pretty good mace. It can only be found in this area, so make sure to grab that if you stop by. Now that we've done that, it's time to check out the houses. Most of them are pretty boring, just the same stuff you might find in Bruma, only less decked out. But there's one in particular that leads to a very interesting area. That's right, it's Oblivion. Hopefully you brought a torch, by the way, because it's dark as fuck. But unlike a normal Oblivion Spire, instead of just getting one sigil stone when we click on the thing at the ah! top, it will give us every single stone in the game over and over again, <laughs> seemingly indefinitely. <laughs> uh, you probably should bring a feather potion because otherwise you're gonna be trapped. As soon as you leave the building, it'll stop adding it to your inventory, so you probably should just try and get out as fast as possible. <laughs> You know, before this happens. Once you're ready to get out of this hellscape, all you have to do is open up your map and just travel anywhere. It's pretty much that easy. And then you can turn Frostcrag Spira back on and 
and live your life like nothing happened. All right, well, I guess that's all the interesting stuff I have to show for you today. Make sure to check out my other videos if you want to see more behind the scenes of a game that came out almost 20 years ago. Okay, I feel normal. Oh no, what do we do? I'm so scared.